I'm Martin Tyler, and you're listening to Harry Simeon. Hey everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna YouTube channel and podcast with me, Harry Simeu. I just wanted to put out a special video uh, and a special piece of content to give my thanks to every single one of you who is a part of the Chronicles of Aguna family. Whether you listen via audio, whether you watch on YouTube, um, whether you follow us on Twitter, whether you are someone who's a casual listener, viewer, who dips in and out of the show. I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you. So why now? Well, because we hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. We've got around about 17, 18,000 as well uh, in the audio platforms, in the audio space, whether that be on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc. cetera, um, taking our subscribership up to an incredible number. And for me, that's just amazing. You know, like I know there will be people out there that will say, well, there are YouTube channels that are much bigger. There are podcasts that have a much bigger reach. So why is this guy sitting in front of the camera, sitting in front of the microphone and um, and sort of talking about this? Well, for me, this has been an incredible journey. This has been uh, an incredible project. It's the most enjoyable project I've ever worked on in my entire life. And I hope it continues to be. In fact, I'm sure it will continue to be. It is the basis of me being able to switch careers the way I did a few years ago. Um, You know, those of you who have followed me for a while or who have uh, been subscribed or have listened to this show for a while will know the journey that I've been on. Um, For those of you that have subscribed or, or joined the family a little bit more recently, maybe you don't know that, you know, a few years ago, I decided to take the jump from a stable career that I had, um, in the banking industry to do what I really wanted to do. And that was talk about, write about, create content around the mighty Arsenal Football Club. Now, ever since I was a little kid, I've always been Arsenal crazy. I didn't really have a choice as to what team I supported um, because my dad basically brainwashed me. But it's a decision that I thank him for uh, every single day because Um, You know, I I truly do love Arsenal Football Club. And sometimes people say, oh, you know, you're you're not critical enough of the club and, you know, you don't have a go at them enough and you don't rant and rave enough, even when you can see that something is not right. And I do admit there's a there's an element of me that gets defensive when talking about Arsenal Football Club because of my love and admiration for it, because of how much it means to me. I mean, we can sit as Arsenal fans and, and have a frank and an open conversation about the good and the bad. But the minute an opposition fan comes at me and wants to be critical of Arsenal, the defence mechanism kicks in and I want to defend my club. I want to defend my team. And that, whenever that happens, reminds me of how much I love this football club and why I'm so grateful that I get to talk about, write about whatever it is, um, this football club on a daily basis. And that career change is something that um, I'm really proud of, That something that was a scary prospect at the time. You know, when I was thinking about doing it, there were days where I'd wake up and say, yep, I'm definitely going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. This is who I'm going to approach. This is what I'm going to try and make happen. There were other days where I used to wake up and think, nah, this can't possibly work. I've got a mortgage to pay. I've got a a, a son. Uh, You know, I didn't know that my daughter was coming at that point. But you look at your family and, you know, there were times, especially at the beginning, where, um, you know, I, I wasn't earning enough money. You know, there were times where I was sort of from month to month going, shit, you know, I've, I've just realized that this is due to be paid and, and that's due to be paid. Uh, well, maybe now we won't go out for lunch this weekend or or we won't do this or we won't do that. I'm not trying to give a sob story. Like, I'm not trying to play um, poor, like touch wood. Thank God everything has, has been fine. But you do have moments where you doubt it. You know, you do have moments where you doubt whether your decision, in my case, the decision to change careers was one that was sensible and practical, or if it was me being selfish, me having got a little bit of a sniff of what life could be like if I changed careers and being naive enough to think that I could make that jump and make it work without anybody around me uh, and any of my commitments having to suffer the consequences of me chasing a pipe dream. And luckily, touch wood again, you know, things have been OK. Things have been fine. And, and you know, we've done we've done well as a family and we're moving in the right direction. And I think that's partly because I'm super motivated. I think that when you do something that you want and when you take a bit of a risk and a chance like that, um, 
you know, you you have to make it work. You don't have a choice because other people are going to suffer the consequences as well as yourself if you can't make it work. And it's why when sometimes people say to me, you work too many hours, you work too hard. No, I do this because I have to do it. I do this because I have to make this thing work because I took a, a decision to pursue what I wanted without really putting at the forefront of the decision other people and the impact and the influence it might have on them. So I have to make this work. And to be at a point where we've hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, that to me is amazing. You know, that that is that represents a successful project here because I, I'm not an influencer. I'm not somebody that people know from other things. I'm not somebody that people naturally go towards to find content or I'm not a big social media star that people are going to come across your stuff just naturally. No, that's not me. I'm just a guy who loves football and a guy who who tried um, and dared to try to make that jump and, and do something that I wanted to do. And I'm very fortunate now to be in a position where I can do this stuff as a full time job. Um, you know, there are still ups and downs. It's the nature of freelancing. That's what happens. That's how it goes. But I've had some incredible opportunities and all of them have come along because of the Chronicles of Aguna, not from anything else. They've come from the Chronicles of Aguna. That's where I got picked up to do work with some big media companies. That's where radio stations have come across me and then asked me to do work. That's where I've been found um, by sort of TV producers to do a bit of TV as well. It all stems from the Chronicles of Aguna. I've been some excellent people who have helped me along the way. Um, you know, massive shout out to the guys at 90 Min who have taken the Chronicles of Aguna um, as part of their network. You know, big thank you to them because, you know, they've they've given me that bit of support that means I can dedicate more time to this without worrying about what that means uh, sort of moving forward. So, you know, they've been incredible. Um, lots of wonderful producers as well along the way who have got me in to do various radio shows and tv stuff too many of you to name all of them but you've all been fantastic and you've all been amazing for giving me an opportunity so i always refer to this as the basis of everything that i'm doing and and the, the sort of portfolio that i have to show when i'm trying to get a job you know when i'm trying to get work i mean if you think about it, I've had commentary opportunities. Why? Because I did a few watch alongs on the Chronicles of Aguna channel that people quite liked. I also grafted a lot in the background to make commentary demos and all of that stuff and send them around and around and around. A lot of the time without any replies, and a lot of the time being rejected. But you still keep pushing and you still keep going. You know, lots of the, the work that I've been given, as I say, comes from people enjoying the Chronicles of Aguna. And to have something that belongs to you and your listeners is is amazing because it doesn't belong to anybody else there isn't somebody in my ear telling me you can't say this you can say that you need to say this you shouldn't say that or blah 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 this has been a forum that i've been given complete control of um well it is it was created by me so it's something that i've got complete control of but it's not something that anybody at any point has ever gone to me you need to do this or you need to do that and that's the beauty of it. It is just pure football content um, where I get to share my opinions. And look, listen, there will be some of you out there that agree with a lot of what I say. There'll be some of you that don't. And that's fine. You don't have to agree with me. Um, you know, but for the most part, it's really respectful here. And that's what I love. And that's what gives me that motivation to keep pushing, to keep building this, to keep growing this alongside everything else, because I feel like this is something that's really, really special. And to say thank you to every single one of you who has supported, listened, um, even retweeted, commented on whatever. Um, I'm not going to be giving away one Arsenal shirt, like I said I would at the end of the season. I'm not going to be giving away two, like I said I would, if we got to the 20k mark on YouTube before the end of the season. I'm going to give away three Arsenal shirts. So in a few weeks' time, when the Arsenal home shirt comes out, I'm going to be buying up three um, and I'm going to be sending them to three lucky winners. Now, I'll bring you information on how you can enter that competition um, a little bit later on in the coming days. But just bear that in mind, because I do want to get uh, free Arsenal shirts out to thank three of our listeners for all of your support. Listen, maybe one day I'll be able to give away more. But at this moment in time, three is about your lot. Um, but no, look, honestly, jokes aside, um, it's been amazing. Um, it's been amazing. I also want to say a big thank you to everybody that listens on the audio platforms as well, because I know that I refer to YouTube a lot and that's because we do the shows live on YouTube. 
I don't get to interact live with those of you who listen via the podcast, but you're equally as important to um, to the development of this show, to the pushing forward of this show and to the growth of this platform. So a massive, massive thank you to you guys as well. Um, look, I'm always open to feedback. You guys know that. Um, I'm always open to, to listening to ideas. I'm always open to having uh, some of you on the show as well. Um, you know, the, the fans phone in show is something that we should do more often. Don't always get around to it because of some of those other work commitments that I've mentioned, but I will make a conscious effort to try and do that more. Um, I want to say a big thank you to all the members because it's you guys that have, again, similarly to, to some others have given me the ability to have a little bit more freedom around my time and the ability to say, um, actually I'll, I'll i'll focus on the chronicles of aguna instead of chasing the dollar because you have supported the channel in a way that i never thought anyone would want to um so to see you guys doing that is is just amazing look it's um it's been an incredible journey so far but there's still a long long way to go like please don't take this as me sitting here saying oh well that's it now we've hit 20k i'm going to take my foot off the gas and i'm going to slack and i'm not going to put as much effort in and i'm not going to put as much love in because that's not the case if anything this has motivated me to push more and to push harder as i said to you guys before when you make a decision to chase your dream to chase what you want to do and you potentially risk the lifestyle or not, not maybe not the lifestyle but um you potentially risk it impacting on your family you have to make it work and i'm so so motivated to continue pushing and to continue this growing um and um and and that is 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 one of the big reasons obviously i've got goals obviously there there's a place i want to end up um sort of working in in the football media space but um ultimately my motivation every single morning is to make sure that I can continue to provide for my family. And that is the strongest motivation that anybody could ever have. So, you know, if, if you've got that, you're on the right path and you're moving in the right direction. At times doing this stuff, you get criticism online. You get a lot of criticism online. You get a lot of stick online. You get a lot of people coming at you online without any regard for how that might impact you mentally, how it could impact your family, how it can impact the people around you. And um, I've spoken about this subject loads on the channel, on the podcast. So I don't want to dive down that rabbit hole again. But I do want to say a massive thank you to those of you that really sort of stuck with me at the start of the year where I was having a little bit of a difficult time of it all. Um, I, I felt like I had my wings clipped at the start of the year. Like I'd got to this point where I ended 2021 brilliantly work-wise. Everything was going brilliantly. And then I started 2022 and those of you that follow and, and listen will know that I had a bit of a, a, a difficult patch at the start of 2022. And, and I did feel like my wings had been clipped. I did feel like I didn't really want to do this anymore. I did feel like I didn't want to put my opinions and my views out there anymore, that I was getting obsessed a little bit with the hate that I was getting online and the criticism that I was getting on, online. And I couldn't switch off from it. And I'd sit there scrolling through social media reading stuff that wasn't doing me any good to read and and all of those things so you know when you when you experience something like that a you got to have the the mental strength and capacity to get through that and i'm thankful that i do and that i did um but b you got to have supportive people around you and after that little um period of time when i came back on the chronicles of aguna um you know, and, and it felt like an age, but it was only like really a week. But when I came back on the Chronicles of Aguna um, to see the support straight away again, it motivated me again. And it just kind of got the machine churning along again and got me going again. And now I feel stronger than ever in terms of how I handle that stuff and how I deal with that stuff. It's also shone a light on, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, how much I've developed and grown as a person over the last few years so all of this like you know bad things happen um and things will happen that that will feel like a disaster at the time but it's it's how you use those things to to then rebuild and to make sure that you're stronger moving forward and i feel like i've done that and that's all you can do really you can't go back and, and change the past you can't um you know sit and cry about spilt milk and worry about things that have happened before you can regret stuff but you've got to be able to channel the outcome and and what happens afterwards in the right way to then make you better and stronger 
and and that's you know that's that's what I feel like I've done and and I wouldn't have been able to do that without the chronicles of Aguna subscribers because as I say you guys are the core you guys are the foundation of everything that I'm doing at the moment and um, and without this channel without this podcast I'd probably be lost because I wouldn't know um you know where to go this this gives me um an outlet a, a, a way of putting out my opinions and my views um, and if people like them, great, they'll hire me to do other stuff. And if they don't, they won't. But I've still got the Chronicles of Aguna and I've still got lots and lots of you lot um, who are not just listeners, not just viewers, but in a lot of cases have become friends. And that for me is amazing to have that sense of community. Um, listen, as I always say, um, you know, this is um, this is an incredible journey and it's been great so far. Um, but there's a long, long way to go. There really, really is, because um, there's no reason why we can't keep growing this thing. There's no reason why we can't um, up the level of content, the production level, the level of guests that we're getting on. There's so much we can do um, as a community. And and that's exactly the key. Right. It is a community. This is the Chronicles of Aguna is me, Harry Simi. It's not a it's not a team of people. Um, there are some regular contributors who have been brilliant. Um, throughout the running of it all. And, and in particular, I want to say a big shout out to Mike Stavrou, especially because um, he's fantastic when he comes on the podcast, but he's also uh, become a really, really good friend as well. And there's loads of other people as well that you've seen me on other podcasts with, um, you know, Sophie of the Highbury Squad, Lee Judges, Dan Potts, Tom Canton, um, you know, Craig, who gave me a real opportunity on them on same old Arsenal when I was first kind of breaking into this space and first doing this kind of thing. There, there's been so many people, you know, people at TalkSport, people at 90 Min for having me on the gas tank. Fantastic crew of people. They're not going to name every single person because we'll be here every day. But there's so many people um, who have contributed to the growth of this channel, even if they don't appear on it regularly, just by being good friends, good advisors, being um, there to support having me on their platforms as well. So all of those people deserve thanks and, and deserve a shout out. And um, yeah, let's let's continue the journey uh, forward, as I say. So we'll be giving away those Arsenal shirts to th say thank you to you guys. Um, and as I say, this has been the basis of everything for me. And it's opened so many doors for me. But more importantly than that, we've built something really special here with a really strong community of people. And I can't thank you guys enough. Um, I know you probably thought when I put out a thank you video that there was going to be um, this massive production value. There, there isn't any of that. It's just me in front of a camera uh, as normal, basically um, sort of pouring my heart out to you guys about how proud I am of the Chronicles of Aguna, where it is today and what it can still be um, from a, a career perspective. You know, I've still got lots of goals I want to achieve. There's still lots of things I want to do. Um, but it really dawned on me the other day, uh, when was it? Just before the Man United game, when I was down at Emirates Stadium on the side of the pitch with Premier League um, TV doing some some stuff. You know, there, there's a picture that I've used in the thumbnail of me literally standing by the corner of the pitch with a microphone in my hand. And when I got back in the car after I finished that and I looked at that picture, I thought, you know what? This is amazing. Like This is class. This is what I want to be doing week in, week out. And I'm not there yet. Um, and there's a hell of a long way to go. And hopefully I will be there someday. There's no guarantee. But to look at moments like that, look back on them, enjoy them, and then think about how you got there and realize that the Chronicles of Aguna, your little old podcast, little old YouTube channel, has been the basis of all of this, makes me appreciate it even more. Because it's like those moments where you then look back and you say, well, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't have the Chronicles of Aguna. That wouldn't have happened if we didn't have subscribers, if we didn't have listeners, if we didn't have supporters. So, you know, it does really sort of humble you and you do realise that. And also there are a lot of people that watch and listen that don't comment all the time. So I don't get to know you because I don't see you in the chat. But that doesn't mean you're not contributing or supporting the show uh, in some way as well. So uh, amazing, amazing stuff. And um, thank you to every single one of you again from the bottom of my heart. Free Arsenal shirts coming out your way. We'll give you details on how to enter that competition and we'll pick three random winners uh, to send them out to when the new shirt is released. So keep supporting, keep subscribing, keep listening, keep arguing with me in the comments if you disagree with my opinions. Um, no problem at all. As long as we're respectful to one another, then there is no issue uh, whatsoever. I don't expect everyone to agree with me. And that's what's beautiful about the game of football and about the sport. But at the end of the day, remember one thing. 
every single one of us, with the exception of a few trolls who support other clubs, wants the best for Arsenal Football Club. Wants the best for, for Mikel Arteta, his team, his players, the people currently running the football club. Um, you know, we want to go back to where Arsenal need to be. And I think it's an exciting time at Arsenal right now. I really, really do. I know a lot of people don't share that optimism and a lot of people don't share that opinion, but I truly do believe that Arsenal are moving in the right direction as a football club. And I can't wait to see where that journey takes us. And I can't wait to see where the Chronicles of Aguna YouTube channel and podcast go as well. Look, thank you all so much. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, it is so, so appreciated. And uh, I'll catch you all very, very soon with some more content around this weekend's big games. Love to everyone. Cheers. I'm Martin Tyler, and you're listening to Harry Simeon.